Hello and welcome to a new episode of Energetix Television. Today I want to talk to you about the power prices in the German energy markets. As you can see in the graph, baseload prices have been coming down significantly since the peak in 2008. Currently the calendar 14 and 15 contracts are trading at the lowest price point since they became tradable on the German energy exchange. At the same time the contract for 2013 is trading at the lowest price level since 2006. These developments do not only extend to baseload prices, but the same pattern is visible for peak load as well, as illustrated by the graph on your screen. Obviously, we can conclude that the current situation is very favorable for buyers of electricity. However, I wanted to take a short look at the reasons behind the current price levels. First, we need to have a look at the fundamentals of conventional power generation. As Germany only uses gas-fired plants for rapid response during peak moments, most of the conventional power is generated by coal-fired plants. As you can see on this graph, coal prices have been coming down strongly since last summer. The main reason for this can be found in the American displacement of coal by shale gas and deteriorating Asian demand. Due to the global slump in the bulk shipping markets, Europe can obtain coal against very favorable prices. The effect of, of cheap coal is strengthened by the oversupply of emission rights on the market, which makes coal a relatively inexpensive fuel to burn. Next to the fundamentals of power generation, we also need to have a look at the German power market in itself. While German power consumption went down with 2%, the generation related consumption of coal and lignite increased with almost 6%. In addition to that, the growth of renewable energy has been quite spectacular in the last 9 months. Solar based power generation increased with 50% compared to 2011, while wind generation saw a moderate growth of 8%. The combination of all these elements is the reason for the current price levels we see in Germany. As a final comment for this episode, I would like to draw your attention to the export surplus of 14.6 terawatt hours, an increase of 13 terawatt hours compared to the previous year. While the surplus might partially indicate an oversupply in the, German, in the German markets, there is something else going on as well. Germany still is an importer of electricity. In September alone, Germany imported 3.2 terawatt hours of electricity. The need for imports is caused by a mismatch between electricity generation and demand, and by the fact that the German transmission grid is not capable of transporting enough energy from generators to consumers. To conclude, power prices in Germany are very favorable indeed, but the German energy markets still offer lots of room for improvement. Thank you for watching and we welcome you to get in touch with us.